All right, so today I wanna to share with you all my experience with fog panic sprouting. First off, I had to build something to hold the seeds, which are tiny, by the way. These are alfalfa seeds, and they can't be sprouted in like one of the normal sprouters that you might get off of Amazon. I had to create something. So what I found was a stainless steel paint strainer that fits over a five gallon bucket, and it was perfect for what I needed. So the screen holes are super small. They might even be too small because I noticed that some of the ones that didn't take hold within the first couple hours, uh, they just started rooting all over the place. I actually think that there are two things contributing to this. I also know I planted too heavy. Microgreens are kind of like stovetop popcorn for me. I'm always looking at it like, is that enough seeds really? Ultimately, it always gets me in trouble. And I think here uh, it caused a few plants to be left out of the whole pile. Also believe an area where I jumped the gun a bit was using the fogger a bit too soon um, in the whole process. I immediately placed the seeds into the fog and that also caused some pretty crazy germinations. I assume this was because they were sitting in the fog so they couldn't really make heads from tails. So they just kind of started shooting their roots into the air. If I would have waited for the first day for them to get rooted, then introduce the fog, I don't think that would have happened and I would have had a few less casualties overall. But even with my two mistakes, I still began to see huge, crazy roots when comparing the two. My wife was like, what the fuck? So then we just waited to see that growth represented on top. And we waited and we waited and we waited some more until six days passed until the seeds were fully matured microgreens and they were ready to be picked. And honestly, it would be really hard to tell the difference from the top. From the bottom, it's a completely different story. So I pulled the patch from each one to see the direct comparison. And you can see considerable length in the roots, but honestly, that's not really what we're looking for. And to be sure that this test was done with no bias, um, I put both the pods under grow lights on day three, and I watered the non-fogged sprouts with the spray bottle three times a day. I had the fogger on a timer, 30 minutes on and 30 minutes off, and the light on a 12 on 12 cycle. So, my opinion of fogponic microgreens. Well, if you have the $35 setup already, then it might save you some time and hassle with remembering to water them all the time. But honestly, that might be the only benefit. Basically, I mean, what we're comparing here is fogponics compared to a hydroponic drip setup. And as it turns out, with just five or six days grow time, that doesn't really seem to make much of a difference at all. I will say, these screens though, pretty sweet. See you next time, guys.